Welcome to my talk on how to animate things using HTML5 Canvas. This is a continuation of my previous talk on how to draw things using HTML5 Canvas. As before, we will be programming some things during this talk, and you need to go to the website listed here in order to get the tools that you need in order to do this programming. These tools only run on modern web browsers like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or newer versions of Internet Explorer. If you have an older version of Internet Explorer, like Internet Explorer 8 or Internet Explorer 7, which have an icon of this dark blue E, you won't be able to run the tools needed to program for this lesson. So here are the topics that we're going to be covering during this tutorial. The main topics we're going to cover are here on the left, but I'll also be covering some optional topics with some more advanced material. If you don't understand this more advanced material, that's totally fine you can still follow along with the main topics. But the advanced material is just for those of you who want to learn some extra stuff. During this talk, we'll be using the tool JSBin to do our programming in. You should go to the website listed here in order to get to JSBin. In the previous lesson, I already showed you how to draw images on your computer using HTML5 Canvas. But I'll be reviewing the material again because it's very important that you understand how to draw images in order to follow along with this lesson. So here's a program that draws a Mona Lisa picture on your screen. It has three parts. At the top, it has some code that actually loads the image from the internet. You have this little piece at the end that you always need at the end of your program. And then you have your program in the middle, which actually draws the Mona Lisa on your screen. So let's review again how this program works. In the first line of the program, we create a new image and give it the name A. This image is just a blank image though. So then in the second line of the program, we tell the computer that we want to load an image from the internet. This funny string of characters here is an internet address that refers to this mona.jpg image, which is a picture of the Mona Lisa. Then we tell the computer to wait a bit. It sometimes takes a few moments for the computer to load a picture from the internet, so you need to have this wait here so that the computer fully loads the images so that it is able to later display it on the screen. And then here we have the main program, which actually draws your picture onto the screen. And ta-da, here's the Mona Lisa. If we want to draw a different picture, all we have to do is change the address of the picture that we load into the image. So here, we load this mona.jpg image from this website here. If we want to load a different image, we just cross this out and put in the address of a different image. In this case, we'll use this ella.png image, which is a picture of an elephant. If you want to use... It's easy to find lots of different images on the internet to use in your programs. Just find an image by using Google Images or Bing Images, and then once you see a picture you like, just right-click on it. Or if you have a Macintosh, you have to hold down the Control key and left-click on it. Then there'll be an option for copying the picture. This menu option has different names depending on which browser you use. It might be called copy image URL, copy image location, copy image address, or some other name. If you're using Internet Explorer, the option you have to choose is properties. It'll then bring up a dialog box with an address on it. You then highlight the address, right click it, and then copy that. Then you go into your program and where you set the image location, you can just paste the address of the image right there. Or you can even upload your own images using Dropbox or Google Drive or SkyDrive. So go ahead and try combining some images to make some more interesting pictures. For example, you can make a little photo montage, or you can take a picture of a dog in a tree and put them together.